everyone. Um, so, um, today I'm going to be doing, a, sorry, I'm going to be doing a review on, uh, Illa Masca Blush. Um, I, well, first of all, I'm, you can see I'm in my old surroundings. I'm back home for Thanksgiving, which I'm really happy about. Um, also, I got my hair cut, nothing too different, but basically she just, like, took off, like, um, I want to say, like, an inch and a half to two inches. I'm just giving me, like, long layers. I just needed to be healthy and whatnot. Okay. Um, so, the, what I got was my first El Masca product. I got it yesterday at the Sephora, um, the new Sephora in Times Square. Um, also, I'm sorry for the lighting kind of sucks. Um, but, uh, so, I got a blusher, a basically a blush, and you can see the packaging, you've all seen it before, but it's a square that kind of just, like, bends in on all sides, and it has this, like, can you see that, that little symbol, middle, it's really sleek packaging, it says Il Masca, and this is Powder Blusher in Panic, um, in the back, I'm going to read the back too, it says, um, Illuminate, radiate, make your face come alive with the color and drama of Ella Masca Powder Blusher. Color intense and highly pigmented. Use it to shade, brighten, enhance, and define the shape of your face. Be bold, be daring, be the center of attention. Um, this is definitely a bold and daring color. Um, that look red. That looks orange too, completely orange. I'll be back. see if we can move somewhere else. Okay, let me get all my stuff. Lighting on here better. In my room. Yes, much better. Okay. I'll sit down. Okay. Um, so, this blush is basically a bright red. It's a matte bright, bright red. Um, let me get my other blushes real quick to compare. So, here, here's my blush palette. The only thing I would have that comes remotely close to it would be um, Dolly Mix. Um, and if anyone has Dolly Mix, they know that it's a pretty bright color. Um, but compared to Il Masca, look at that. Yeah, this is a Dolly Mix, which has shimmer to it. Um, but it looks... Almost how I would describe Pink Swoon next to Panic. Pink Swoon is a baby pink. And Dolly Mix is a bright pink. A dark, darker reddish pink. So, yeah. You can see the color difference there. Also, um, the pigmentation in this is the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Um, it's literally, literally almost pig pigmented to a fault. Um, so, just like a swipe, that's the color you get. And, that's it on my hand. And then, next to it, it's kind of like blended in a bit. Um, now basically, I will have this for the rest of my life. There's no way that I will ever go through this. I'm wearing it today and when I put it on I barely touched my brush to the product because it's so pigmented. I made the mistake actually of like pushing it in like that like really pushing it in. You can't even see the product on here but when you put it on your skin it's literally like let me see like look at that I barely even touched it to, well, 
and I kind of, this is too much blush right now. Um, so yeah, when you have to be very extremely, I have to even this out whether it looks bad or not. <laughs> Look like a clown, but whatever. Um, you have to use an extremely light hand, but I mean, there could be worse things than having a blush that's really pigmented, you know? Um, but I have to say, I've gotten a lot of mixed reviews on the whole, like, Ilamasca, um, brand where, you know, there are some gurus on YouTube saying how it's so amazing, I, it's like the best thing ever, it's like competitor to MAC, and I mean, if you see my videos, most things I use are, uses MAC, and I was very hesitant to buy Ilamasca because I was like, oh, competitor to MAC, no, I can't, even though... <laughs> I know. Ooh. One second. Hello? Hey. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Bye. My sister. Um. What was I saying? Oh, I'm like, I know Mac has their faults. I know they're not. I know they're not perfect, I know they sometimes think they're better than everyone, you know, whatever. I know people have their problems with it, but I, I love it, you know, I do, I love MAC. And to find a competitor to it made me really sad. But at the same time, I know some people had problems with like, the eyeshadows not being that pigmented. Um, but I am very happy with this product. I, um, just, it's a beautiful color, I have nothing like this in my collection. I believe, I'll have to look it up with the blushes that I would compare it to from MAC, um, but I believe it's discontinued or it was limited edition that looks like this. I will, like, post a little thing here or something saying it. Um, but you have to use an extremely, extremely light hand. Um, but other than that, I love it. I do really love it. It's something that I would probably use all winter because I think it... I get really, really pale in the winter, and, um, I just think, I just love, like, pale and, like, rosy cheeks. So, yeah, I'm very happy with this product, and I, um, oh, it retails for $23 at Sephora. You can go on Sephora.com. Um, uh, I know Ill Mask isn't available at all Sephora stores yet, um, but you can go on to sephora.com and look through everything but I highly recommend this I really their blush has definitely impressed me so and blush is my favorite thing so yeah um if you have any questions or anything just put them in the comments and I'll get back to you okay bye guys